And this workshop is not going to be a, a circuit class. One, we don't have the room, but two, it's not about jumping up and down and making you puff today. It's very much a case of making sure we're moving the right way. A lot of the stuff we do is more focused on uh, muscle movement as opposed to just movement, right? And I think people get really good at jumping up and down without getting a lot done. Today, we're going to make sure that you're actually contracting the right muscles and every one of you, you'll start to see there's quite a big difference. And it just means that we can actually truly make more difference in 20 minutes than most people do in an hour you know how to contract a muscle, you know what it focuses, making sure that you actually tune in. So rather than blocking things out, I do want you to tune in and get an idea of what you're actually feeling, right? What I want you to take away from today it is around flavour and interest. And this is a harissa meatball, so if you haven't tried harissa before, it's um, a spice blend that's in oil. Um, you can find it in sort of like specialty shops and it's just a lot of flavour in a small little thing. One of the key things with making meatballs is if you don't put anything in them to hold the moisture in them, you end up with a little sawdust ball. And there's nothing worse than having sawdust balls for lunch. But we're gonna do chicken, super duper easy, and it involves lemon. But our flavor combination for this is chicken, lemon, put it with the skin on and you get all the caramelizing of the sugars in the skin and you get all this nice flavor stuff going on. Um, salt, just go for gold, go for gold. We're going to cook a couple of one pan meals. Now, I'd typically do these for my lunch at home. They're super quick. They take about two minutes when you're doing it for one person. Tomato, basil, pesto, lemon juice, chicken. That's it. Super simple, really easy. Yeah. No one should be eating boring food, okay? It needs to be packed full of flavor to keep it interesting. So that's the key takeaway from today. It needs to be quick, it needs to be easy, and it needs to really give you a punch in the face with some flavor. This morning we uh, took the time to optimise exercise and I think there's no point feeding the body if we're not feeding the mind and as you know we dive into this a fair bit. The theme throughout last night's dinner this morning has been moving into uncomfortable or new situations. There's always going to be a level of self-judgement or an awareness of like kind of what we're going into, you know, who's going to be there, who can I talk to, but rather than it being you know, nutrition, training and mindset all being separate, really that mindset or that lifestyle design is the foundation of it all working, right? It's more a case of like how we actually fit it into our day a little bit more often. And then lastly, I think when you're in a, in a room like this, we intentionally raise the bar a little bit. We've probably got an idea of what we're going to go home and do a little differently, what we're going to tweak, what we're going to adjust, and just feel like you know, the bar's being raised personally, and that's always a fun part of this.